This is a Land Rover Discovery 4. It's a 3 litre SD V6 XS. It's a four-wheel drive, 2012 on a 12 plate. Absolutely fantastic condition throughout. Uh, it has a full service history. It has done 59,839 miles. And um, the fuel economy figures, 28.8 urban, 34.9 extra urban, and uh, 32.1 combined. 0 to 60 time of 8.8 .8 seconds and uh, top speed of 112 miles per hour, 255 brake horsepower engine. Um, I'll just take you for a ride in it. It uh, is finished in the colour I believe again is uh, Stornoway grey. You've got the rotary gear selector which uh, personally I like. We've got heated seats, we've got uh, power folding door mirrors. just go it's uh, a horrible day in the UK it's blowing a gale it's been raining it's been snowing uh, so these are the, the best cars to be in on days like today we've got uh, a height and reach adjustable steering wheel we've got cruise control on the left here sat nav switch the, that on great to drive great uh, great seating position see above all the traffic um, you feel extremely safe in them. We've got uh, well, bags of room, big front central armrest here. And the, uh, we're expecting gales and they're just cutting the overhanging trees down here so they won't drop on traffic when the wind does get up. Uh, we've got leather upholstery, it's got seven seats. couple of other features shows you where the power is going to on the <coughs> four-wheel drive train you see the uh, the guy with the lollipop there is getting blown all over the place Uh, red counter on the left there, speedo on the right, you've got a centre panel where you can uh, use this control and click into vehicle setups, the trip computer, uh, show any warnings that may, uh, may be uh, highlighted. Trip A, trip B, automatic, you can change the units. Holders here, electronic handbrake, it's um, keyless ignition. We've got two remotes for the vehicle. Um, usually, we have to give uh, cars a little bit of a clean when they come in before we display them, but this just needed a, a bit of a wipe over and it was all done.
great gearbox, really smooth changes, nice and quiet inside. No uh, wobbles on the steering wheel. As I say, it's, it is very, very windy today. Got heated seats, which are switched on at the moment. Got a heated front screen. seven seats, the, the back row fold down, the middle row fold forward, the rear wash wipe, which, uh, just check the wipers, yep they're good. Rear wipers good. So Xenons, I think we've got a headlamp wash. I forgot to check before we came out. And paddle shift and change into sport using the rotary control. Or just over override using the paddles. through traffic lights late much. It's a great speaker system in here. So you can see the signs on the motorway here and we're limited to 50. But better slow down. The debris all over the place on lorry tire there. It's a really substantial vehicle. The smaller cars are getting blown about a bit and uh, this isn't too bad. You can still feel it. You've got the um, terrain response switches here oh it's uh, one of Eddie's that's lost the tyre back there one touch set the cruise um, can't get up to 70 today to tell you uh, how many revs we'd be doing but probably just short of uh, 2000 at 70 miles an hour. I must be the only one who saw the speed limit.
really comfortable to drive. Get your headlights on the right hand side here, front and rear fogs. Global lock in here. Got this uh, lovely black leather and uh, some kind of bright work, polished aluminium around the vents, the switches on the gear tunnel. the best day for a test drive today but uh, if you're going to be out in the weather like this this is the vehicle to be in great engine very economical I would say for the size of the, the car A bit of road there. <laughs> it always reminds me of when I was a kid and you've got scale electric track and you just get into the end and you've got a load of curve bits left so you make a big swirly bit. Seamless gear changes. This is uh, on roads like this, this is where you appreciate. Range Rovers, Land Rovers the most.
and see over the field, see what's coming over the hedges. This uh, crossing here is particularly bad because when you're in a normal car you can't see what's coming, there's a bit of a bend there. And you're just high enough to be able to see. The wind's blowing that hard, that pigeon was trying to land in that tree and it couldn't land because it kept getting blown away. I need a holiday. Lovely car this is. So we've got Bluetooth audio streaming as well, which is a good thing. Bluetooth hands-free. Just uh, actually on to radio. And she just can't afford it, but she can't afford to move. Well, that was. Great, uh, great sound system. That wasn't a stupid manoeuvre. Just show you how to pair your uh, mobile phone to the Bluetooth system when we get back, and also uh, how the audio streaming works.
Here we are back at the garage. A very pleasant car to drive.